Okay, so today uh, we are going to start our lecture number two on single phase induction motor. In today's class, we are going to cover the topics. First, this uh, MMF equation for a single phase AC excitation. Then production of rotating magnetic field for balance to balance two phase supply and then we will show that how the pulsating rather oscillatory field rather alternating field is produced in a single phase induction motor okay so mmf equation for a single phase equation uh, so so this is the so this is so this is so this is the waveform of single phase sinusoidal exciting current in different time instants such as t1 t2 t3 and so on and correspondingly this is the waveform rather we can say step waveform of mmf which is produced in different instants of time due to this excitation current and here we have shown for time t1 instant so this is my stepped mmf waveform so this is my stepped mmf waveform and the resulting field waveform is sinusoidal in nature or rather we can say we can approximate it the resultant field waveform as sinusoidal okay now if we neglect the space harmonics for constant air gap length the mmf as well as the flux density waveform both are sinusoidal in space and this can be represented in in the equation of sinusoid okay so let me explain a bit so 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 this is my so So, this is my sinusoidal waveform for different time T1, time T2, time T3, and so on. And we have represented in that figure our poles in this fashion, right? In this fashion, we have shown our different pole which is producing inside the stator because of the production of the electromagnet 
and a certain pole will carry the dot current and the opposite pole will obviously carry the cross current right so if it is happen as the current is, is increasing sinusoidally from zero to maximum similarly the waveform will increase in this fashion right and reach to your peak and again as it is reducing in negative direction so this will reduce in negative direction okay so this will reduce in negative direction. now if we neglect the space harmonics means suppose we have taken this mean this mean point this mean point and so on i am going to take the mean point right so my drawing is not I'm not habituated with this uh, writing part so i'm just trying the better i can draw so so it will go through this point right so as you see so this is a this is a sinusoidal waveform so that's why we have said that if we neglect that neglect that space harmonics for constant air gap length then we can consider the mmf and flux density waveform sinusoidal in nature and can be represented in sine equation okay so so now let me return to the slide so this is my waveform now i have mentioned that this can be represented in sinusoidal equation so there i have seen a different waveform m1 peak the peaks are m1 m2 m3 and in negative direction minus m4 and so on right so so i can represent if i represent this as sorry if i represent this as mf so mf equals to m1 peak m1 peak sin theta or right rather sin omega t1 at the time instant t1 similarly for time t2 instant it will be m2 peak sin theta similarly m3 peak sin theta and in the negative minus mp4 peak sin theta now since this now since this m1 peak m2 peak m3 peak m4 peak all these are respectively proportional to the current corresponding current i1 i2 i3 and in negative direction i4 so it is proportional to this current and which lie in the sinusoid so again it is the maximum value can be represented in sinusoid del equation so m peak i can represented as m max sin sorry sin omega s t where m max correspond to the maximum value of the exciting current i max this is corresponding to the maximum value i max because i know we know that i1 equals to i max sin omega t1 or omega sin of theta so if we put this value of m peak to all these four equation 
it will be in the form of m f sorry m f equals to m max sin omega s t sin theta so this is how the mmf waveform represent for sinusoidal excitation okay now what will happen if it is a polyphase supply right now i have mentioned this so now we have mentioned all this point okay so now for polyphase excitation so the mmf wave of polyphase excitation is the superposition of the mmf wave of phase excitation now suppose balance three phase supply is applied in a three phase winding which is 120 degree apart in space or 120 degree mechanical apart so there are three phase r phase y phase and b phase now what is my uh, mmf for r phase uh, mr for b phase mb for y phase my so what is my mr it will be we have seen just few minute back m max sine omega st sine theta so what will be my mb both are 120 degree apart so it will be m max sin omega st minus 2 pi by 3 into sin theta minus 2 pi by 3 now what is my m y again it's minus 240 degree that means with b phase the phase difference is minus 2 pi by 3 so it will be a max sin omega st minus 4 pi by 3 sin theta minus 4 pi by 3 so these are my mmf equation of three individual phases and the resultant waveform of the field is nothing but the superposition of this three individual waveform so that means if we assume resultant waveform is mf so it's nothing but mr plus mb plus m y right so mr equals to m sorry m max sin omega st sin theta plus m max sin omega st omega st minus 2 pi by 3 sin theta minus 2 pi by 3 and m y will be m max sin omega st minus 4 pi by 3 into sin theta minus 4 pi by 3 right so here we can if we apply the trigonometry of the formula taking i will take half common from outside so it will become 2 m max i m max so i will take common here m max i will take common with a half factor so every parameter will become two times of the things right and this is become 2 sin omega st sin theta it will become 2 sin omega st minus 2 pi by 3 uh, sin theta minus 2 pi by 3 and this is become 2 of these things right and we know sin 
टू साइन ए साइन बी इक्वल्स टू कॉस ऑफ ए माइनस बी माइनस कॉस ए प्लस बी राइट सो सिमिलर थिंग आई विल अप्लाई हेयर टू साइन ए कॉस बी सो इट विल बिकम कॉस ओमेगा एस टी माइनस थीटा माइनस कॉस ओमेगा एस टी प्लस थीटा एंड सिमिलरली फॉर दिस टर्म ऑल्सो सो इफ वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस सो अ टर्म उल एराइज एज कॉस थीटा माइनस टू फोर्टी यू विल डू द कैलकुलेशन बाई योर ओन आई एम जस्ट गिविंग द हिन्स सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू हाउ Now we know cos of minus theta equals to cos of theta. So if we take minus sign here, so it will become cos of 240 degree minus theta, and cos of 240 degree equals to 3 into pi by 2 minus theta. Okay. So we know from Descartes principle. All sine, tan, and cos. So three pi by two. So one, two, three. Then negative. So it is in third quadrant. In third quadrant, it is negative. So here I have uh, jump one step. So let me help you. Let me. Help you from here. So, 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 cos. So, cos. 240 means 3 into 90 minus 30 minus theta. So it will become cos of 3 into pi by 2. If we take minus common 30 degree plus theta. So we have seen in third quadrant it is negative. So minus cos of theta that is minus of 30 degree plus theta. And again we will break into in the formula of cos a plus b. And if we simplify, then we will get the resultant MMA value MMA for polyphase supply 1.5 times of the M max. so let me erase this so let me erase this so it will it will be it will be m f equals to 1.5 M max sine omega s t minus theta. So look here also the magnetic field is rotating in omega s radian per second as our exciting current was as the frequency of our exciting current. So. so if we draw it is rotating around a cycle we have also seen this in case of three phase induction motor so this is my theta and this is rotating minus sign is there so phase are rotated in anti clockwise rotating and it is rotated in clockwise direction with omega s rate per second and the peak value is 3 by 2 that is 1.5 m max so we can see for balanced three phase supply a uh, rotating magnetic field is producing what what is rotating in what is rotating in space 
with the omega s rad per second right so this is for polypage supply now we told that we will see this if a balanced two phase supply ap apply what happened now what we have did we have applied balanced two phase supply which are in space quadrature means means space quadrature means means the angle between the two current is pi by 2 so if one current ia equals to i max or we can rather take is capital i max sin omega st then in b phase two phase it will be i max sin omega st minus of pi by 2 and this exciting current is applied in the stator winding two stator winding there are two stator winding which are again in space quadrature mean the space angle between them is pi by 2 means in three phase we have seen the angle is 120 degrees in space mechanical angle and here the angle is here the angle is only pi by 2 then what will happen now corresponding to this current the mmf is ma equals to m max sin omega st sin theta and corresponding to this is m b b phase m max sin omega st minus pi by 2 sin theta minus pi by 2 so the resultant is again mmf as i have shown in case of polyphase supply so again the summation of this and this so if we take common m max and m max by 2 so a 2 will appear a 2 factor will appear both in this term as well as this sign term so again it will be 2 sin a sin b so it will we can break at cos a minus b plus cos a plus b and if we simplify this it will become m max sin sorry m max sorry sorry m max sorry m max cos omega st minus theta so here again you see that it is rotating at m omega s rat per second in anti clockwise direction as we have seen in case of polyphase supply the only difference is here this 3 by 2 multiplying term is absence so we have seen in case of two phase supply a rotating magnetic field is also produced now what will happen for single phase supply right so now check for single phase supply what will happen so suppose now for single phase supply right so for single phase supply means the resultant emf is the resultant emf is the resultant emf is mf equals to m max sin omega st sin theta there is no other term so that means from here we can see that resultant mmf is basically sinusoid or oscillatory in nature pulsating in nature alternating in nature so if we again take two common as we have seen so it will become 
टू साइन ओमेगा एस टी साइन थीटा सो एम सॉरी एम मैक्स बाय टू कॉस ए माइनस बी मींस कॉस ओमेगा एस टी माइनस थीटा माइनस ऑफ कॉस ओमेगा एस टी प्लस थीटा सो यू कैन राइट डाउन इट एज एम एफ प्लस एम बी सो इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस एम एक्स बाई टू टर्म विथ बोथ दिस टर्म एंड दिस एम एक्स एम मैक्स बाई टू कॉस ओमेगा एस टी माइनस थीटा इक्वल्स टू आई हैव टेकन एम एफ एंड दिस इक्वल्स टू एम बी मीन्स एम बी इक्वल्स टू एम मैक्स बाई टू माइनस कॉस ओमेगा एस टी प्लस थीटा एंड दिस इज आई हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड एट प्लस एम बी सो एज वी कैन सी द रिजल्टेंट फील्ड इज नथिंग बट द समेन ऑफ टू फील्ड वन इज फॉरवर्ड फॉरवर्ड फील्ड इट्स डिरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन बींग द सेम एज दैट ऑफ पॉलीफेज एक्साइटेशन द माइनस साइन इज एपियर मीन्स क्लॉक वाइज एंड अनादर ऑन इज इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन सो so this is one forward field and summation on one backward field so now we have mathematically proved that for single phase supply a pulsating field is produced which is nothing but the summation of two field one is forward field another one is backward field where forward field is rotated in clockwise direction and anti clockwise field is rotating in anti clockwise direction means opposite to is each other so from here the concept of double field revolving theory is appearing which will explain that if single phase induction motor is not self starting motor then if we give initial initial thrust then it will start rotating and which can be explained by this two different theory which fundamental pillar is this mathematical proofs one is called double field revolving theory double revolving field theory double revolving field theory and one is called cross field theory which we will explain later okay so this is the mathematical derivation of the production of magnetic field which is summation of the two field okay so now if i go to the presentation okay so so this is pulsating field now i will explain it with some figure okay so we have taken the exciting current here so we have taken exciting current here for different instant like uh, from 1 to 9 so we have taken 9 in stand says okay so in one first in instant it is there is no current is flowing so and we have taken here uh, three turns so three is here and three is here stator winding three turns we have taken in case of stator winding now it is going to positive direction increasing its value going to maximum again uh, decreasing and in this two and fourth instant the value is same and then it is become zero again fifth and uh, negative direction it is same for sixth and eighth instant seven instant in it is maximum negative and then in ninth instant it is again zero accordingly i have 
I have draw the direction of current. So, so positive current in 2 and 4. So, in 2 and 4 it is here if it is cross current and then here it is trot current. Now, if we apply the thumbs rule, right hand thumbs rule, we can easily determine the direction of the field. So, here is cross current. So, cross current. So, here is cross current. So, cross current means, let me show. So, cross current means, so this is my cross current. So, if we apply the theory here, cross current means the field direction is in this way. So, the field direction is in this way. And for dot current applying right hand tool in this way. So, the result in field in this way. And only difference with this 2 and 4 instant and the instant at 3, at 3 it is maximum. So, the value of resulting field has increases with respect to that of this 2 and 4th instant. Similarly, happen in case of 6th, 8th and 9th. The strength of the field has increased, but the direction of the field has changed. So, it is dot here, so cross here. So, this is the direction of field. So, this is resultant field and for this also. So, this is the direction of resultant field and see here the dot current is uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, dim where here the dot current you look it is maximum value. So, it is brighter in nature. So, this is the direction of field, right. So, we have seen uh, that one it is zero and for this three instant it is increasing only the strength has increasing positive positive direction similar thing happen in case of negative direction so the resultant is basically pulsating in nature so this is what i have shown here so the value of the field has been decreasing or increasing but the resultant field is static in space so there is no production of rotating magnetic field right so there is no production of rotating magnetic field so to to jot down the session so previously we have discussed the mmf equation of mmf equation of uh, single phase supply then polyphase supply then two phase supply in uh, we have seen for polyphase and for uh, two phase balance supply it is pulsating not pulsating it is rotating magnetic field is producing which is rotating in omega rate per second in clockwise direction and we have shown for pulsating field mathematically as well as analytically that pulsating field is produced for single phase induction motor hmm, uh, which is uh, which is a summation of two field which is forward field and backward field and this fact that single phase induction motor does not have any uh, starting torque uh, but it will rotate in any of the direction uh, in which the initial thrust is given can be explained by two theory one is called cross field theory and one is called double revolving field theory so we will explain the double field revolving theory and different starting method and correspondingly the development of equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor in our next class so Thank you very much.